Hi there, you're welcome back to section 4 of correction of errors and suspense accounts. In our previous video, we had the introductory part of the definition of what error is. We have discussed so far the various classifications of errors and we have discussed specific errors that are found under this classification. Then we have gotten to know how these errors are corrected when we come to this topic or this course that we are treating now we are going to also to go further to look at the effect on errors that also do occur on the net profit what is the effect of the errors that occur on the net profit of the organization that's what we are going to look out for in this video so if you are new on this channel i'll consider that you check the description section of this video i've given the links for the previous video we have done so far so that if you want to get everything right you watch from there before you progress to this part of this user we can get the concept that we are building in a clear way so that your understanding is key when it comes to correction of errors and suspense account so thank you once again as you watch this video consider by subscribing liking and sharing this video to as many students as possible thank you so now let's go on to the main deal for today now we are looking at the effect of errors and net profit we said basically error and error or errors are basically what mistakes that do occur in the boost of account so when there is an error in our net profit it affect the reliability of how the accounting figures has been reported okay so anytime there is an error on the net profit it affect the reliability and the genuineness genuineness of what the figures that is being what reported to the management and to even the external what stakeholders so let's take note of that so errors reduce what the reliability and the genuity of what the or the genuineness of what the figures or the statement that we are presenting to the external what people or to the management so anytime there is an effect on errors as net profit remember net profits can be found in a statement of what income so anytime there is an effect on error anytime there is an error on the net profit sorry anytime there is an error on the net profit it is going to be adjusted for in the items of the income statement so if there is any error on the net profit all the items in the income statement are what affected and so therefore you must take them into consideration by making what proper adjustment by looking out for where the errors also occur and then making proper adjustment adjustment means correcting it making changes where the error is what being found i hope that is clear so that is generally what we are going to look out for in this video when there is an error on the net profit all the items in the income statement are affected all the income statements are affected so we are going to look at them one by one as to how if there is an error in an item in the income statement how will it impact on the net profit how will it impact or affect the net profit that you're going to report to management and to stakeholders who are interested in in this kind of what the financial statement i hope that is clear all right so first of all we'll be looking at the income of income part of the I mean the sales or the revenue part of what the income statement that we're talking about items under less cost of sales then we're talking about items and the operating what expenses so we're going to look at them in three ways we are going to look at them in three ways so generally this is what we are going to look out for in the errors on the net profit because anytime there is an error in one of these it is likely to affect or impact negatively on or positively on the net profit going to be reported because the figure that represents the net profit always i mean the pit or tell us what the performance of such company organization is and so therefore it's either as a means through which it can either encourage or discourage your shareholders to make what an investment in that company and that is why we are saying that it should be reported as accurately as 
it should be that it should be faithfully what presented so that it reveals any errors and other that are likely to be found so you are going to look at them in terms of this revenue of sales cost of sales and operating expense so under the revenue of sales if there is an error in revenue of sales let's say there is what an overcast of sales what is the effect of overcast on sales had on the net profit remember we are to have a sale of let's say 10,000 10,000 but now there's no overcast that we are having a sale of 12,000 what would you think would be the effect on this on the net profit if all things being equal we have to go by this 10,000 you, you see the profit I'm going to get after preparing income to 10,000 wouldn't be the same as using the 12,000 so anytime there's an overcast in sales right and it's an overcast in sales there is an increase in what in our profits there is an increase in our profit compared to when you use the tool to prepare your uh, all things being equal having the information for cost of sales and operating expense the same thing all right assuming that the cost of sales and operating expense are 500 that one everything is correct it's correct and you have to prepare using that when you take sorry it's 5000 when you take 5000 from this and 5000 from this here we have 5000 here we have 7000 and what is the effect one is cause an increase in what profit and so therefore anytime there's an increase in sales or overcast in sales there's what an increase in net profit and how do you correct you correct it by what subtract so anytime there's an increase right in sales you correct it by what subtracting from the net profit because that should just be so so you did that from the net profit but when there is an undercast or a decrease in sales and for you to correct it you add the difference back to the net profit i hope that is clear i hope that is clear all right and under uh, even sales you can also look out for return in was that is sales returns if there is sales returns if there is an increase in sales returns what happened an increase in sales returns means that what the customers return to us has been what overstated and when it happens like that you see when there is sales returns we take it from the sales before we start with the computation or start with the preparation right because once you take the returns on sales from the sales you're going to get net sales so if the returns on sales has been increased you, all things being equal is going to reduce what the sales figure right we should have been so so anytime there's an increase in returning what's or an overcast over statement of returning was it reduces profits because then the day the sales will reduce which all things will also going to affect or reduce what net profit so anytime there's an increase in returning almost the difference for you to correct it you add the difference back to the net profit i hope you are getting what i'm saying and if there is a decrease in returning was mean they are going to make more profit assuming that it is believed that when anytime there's a decrease in returning what it's like we have sold more but all things being equal it can be that when we're recording it we fail not to record the proper words figure that should have been the boost but we record it an amount below the original amount that should have been reported and so therefore anytime there's a decrease in returning words it increase what sales and all things being equal also going to increase your profit so for you to correct the difference you subtract from the net profit i hope that is clear then when it comes to cost of sales like opening stock right so anytime there is an increase in opening stock what is happening here is that now if there is an increase in opening stock meaning that once the opening stock is increased okay you are going to add that increase to your purchases all right you're going to add that increase to your purchases so as i was saying if there is an increase in the opening stock assuming that we should have had opening stock opening stock as let's say 500 but now we reported what 550 remember if we use this we add this one to the purchases all right let's say the purchase figure was let's say thousand when we add this 
five five zero to the thousand you're going to get what thousand five five zero when we add this same the correct figure that should have been open so to this you're going to get what thousand five hundred see there's a difference okay so now after this you take your closing stock your proper or correct figure for closing stock from it let's say closing stock was let's say 200 take 200 from here take 200 from here when you take 200 from here i'm left with one three five zero after that is clear then we take 200 from here i'm left with what one three three one three zero zero right and this let's say assuming all things mean there's no other information there all things mean this is your cost of sales when you take this cost of sales from the for let's say uh sales was let's say two thousand when you take thousand ten from two thousand going to get what i'm going to get what seven hundred right but when you take thousand ten and fifty from two thousand going to get what six fifty as your profit by now you see what has happened you see the effect on increase on the opening stock you see anytime there's an increase in opening stock it causes a reduction in our profit and so therefore if there is a reduction then the difference that has occurred as an increase in opening stock needs to be added back to the profit because it should have been part of the cost if you have used the exact or the correct figure for the preparation you should have get a gross profit of what seven thousand mean you don't have a pretty expense you should have get what 700 by now we use the inflated figure of a custard figure then we're having 650 it's reducing the profit and so therefore if there is any time there's an increase in the opening stock it reduces our profits and so therefore you to correct it you add the difference back to the profit again so you add back i hope you're getting what i'm saying uh -huh. so that is that but the also to host if there is a good decrease in not opening stock meaning they're going to what increase what your profit and so therefore you subtract the difference from the profit i hope you are getting what i'm saying uh, so that is the approach then the same effect also deal with when it comes to the closing stock right closing stock so always analyze them using the figures you you take or you present a figure which you assume to be right and you also have another figure which falls short of what you are presenting as right then you use them as a means of preparing the financial statement i get what i'm saying you use the correct figure that you think that one is the correct figure for to, to, to clarify that understanding that that is the correct figure so that you use then you use the other figure which is what the error figure to check to see if after preparing the income statement the gross profit for the correct figure is whether small or high or from the original figure that should have been used it will tell you to make you or give you an informed decision about whether there was an increase in profits or decrease in profits and if anytime there is an increase in profit and it's an error you need to subtract the difference the item that caused that increase in profit needs to subtract the difference from that profit anytime there's a decrease in profit being caused by any item in the income statement you need to add the difference back to the profit so let's take note of that so what about increase in purchases anytime there's an increase in purchases what happens here meaning that what we should have had in our booth hmm? mean you are going to pay more let's say it's on credit you should, you should have let's say record so we recording let's say two thousand we recorded what two thousand five hundred this what I've recorded on the credit side of what? On the credit side of creditors, right? They're going to pay this and not all this. So, mean they're going to pay more, which should have been part of the profit. So, anytime there is an increase in purchases as an error, it reduces our profit. And so, therefore, we need to add the difference back to the profit. I hope you get what I'm saying. Because if it's on credit base, you're going to pay more right if that is on credit or cash you're going to pay more you're going to pay additional 500 because of the wrong entry that we made in our books because after all we are saying that book the book is right or the entries that we made is right book don't lie so you can't tell us that this figure that you reported is a mistake unless you do proper investigation from the source of and that's where you can 
made that what reference okay so anytime there is an increase in purchases meaning that it causes a reduction in our profit all right because they're going to pay more and that more should have been part of our profit and so therefore it needs to be adjusted by adding the difference back to the profit but a decrease in purchase means they're going to pay less and so therefore that amount that should have been part of the payment will be part of our profit which will increase our profit and so therefore we need to, for us to correct it we need to what, subtract from the profit so these are how we go by the analysis just use a correct figure present two figures where one is assumed to be correct and one is assumed to be what wrong on the base of that item that you want to understand whether it's an increase or decrease of that item whether it's an overcast or undercast of that item and it fits on the next profit once you do that uh analysis you will to know that uh, this item when it's increased or overstated or understated it has whether it reduces the net profit or it increases the net profit and if it reduces the net profit add back if it increases the net profit you subtract from the net profit i hope you are get, you are get what i'm saying that's net profit before what correction so here the net profit that you have here is the one that there is an error so we call it next profit before what's correction that's where you're going to make your corrections from so you know that's how it goes when it comes to these informations okay then one last one operating expenses operating expenses to generally all expenses that you know, get depreciation stationary carriage outwards rent and rate electricity anytime there's an increase in expenses Take note, anytime there is an increase in expenses, all things being equal, you're going to pay more, all right? As 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 operating expenses and, and that amount that should have reported wasn't so. And so therefore that more that we are paying should have been part of our profit. But since we are paying, going to reduce our profit. Anytime there is an increase in operating expenses, the difference is added back to your profit, but it's going to reduce what our profit. But anytime there is a decrease in operating expenses or expenses in general, it have what an increase in our profit. And so therefore, for to correct it, you subtract the difference from it. So take note, if there is an overstatement of any expenses, it decreases our profit. And so therefore, for to correct it, we will add the difference back to the profit. But if there is an understatement or a reduce of any operating expenses, it won't show a true and faithful presentation of what we should have, have and so therefore we need to what, subtract from the net profit. The difference should be subtracted from the net profit and deal with them as such. So this will bring an end to the part four of this video. Thank you. Bye bye.